Hey guys, welcome back. We are here to discuss Level 1 MCAT exam today. So we've got one of our tutors, Fraser, in to give us the ins and outs on all the things you need to know to ace the exam. So Fraser, what are you able to expect from this test? Uh, so the first thing is some really basic algebra, so uh, rearranging equations, making something the subject, adding fractions, subtracting fractions, um, also a lot of quadratics come through and also simultaneous equations is a big one. Alright, so let's just say I'm struggling with creating equations from word problems, what are some ways to tackle that? Uh, so the first thing I would recommend is to really um, look at all the numbers because those are the things that are going to go and form your equations, right? So even words like twice or three times, um, those are ones that really catch people out. So um, yeah, just underlining those uh, is a good way to go. Um, also another thing would be to look at sentence structure because usually all of the numbers that relate to one equation are in one sentence. Um, so that can be another way to really um, pick out which numbers go together. Okay, so I'm a bit lost. Can you give us an example of what you're talking about? Yeah, so um, one of the areas we're going to have to apply this is in simultaneous equations. And so that's the kind of problem where we have two variables or unknowns, and we're going to need to form two equations uh, to solve for those two variables. So if we take a look at this question here, we see that we have a thick shake costs $2 more than a smoothie. And our second sentence is, Sam spent $30 on three thick shakes and five smoothies. What is the cost of a smoothie? So the first thing is to define our variables, right? So let's say that T is the price of a thick shake and um, S is the price of a smoothie. So if we look at the first sentence, we see a thick shake costs $2 more than a smoothie. So we can put that into equation form being like T equals S plus two. The price of a thick shake, the price of a smoothie plus two is equal to the price of a thick shake. The second uh, sentence gives us the second equation. So in this case we have three times the price of a thick shake plus five times the price of a smoothie equals 30. And there's our second equation. And we can go on and solve these now. All right, so quadratics is probably a term that freaks a lot of people out. So what's that about? So a quadratic is an equation where we have an x squared term hanging around in there. Um, and what's really important with quadratic questions is that we need to get them into the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Now we may have to do a bit of rearranging to get them to look like that, but once they're there it's pretty easy because all we need to do then is factorise, which is taking a thing and splitting it up into two brackets, um, and then from there we can solve. So just some overall general advice for the exam guys is to not stress about it. So you're not going to be given a calculator, but don't worry about that because they're not going to give you lots of big equations with big numbers that are too hard to calculate without one. And just remember that the exam's an hour long, so manage your time during that hour so you can get all those problems solved. Uh, if you need any more help with subject revision or study tips in general, we have plenty on our website. Alright guys, thanks again for watching. In the meantime, you can catch us on our Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Or check out all our other resources on our website. And so plus two, the price of a smoothie. Mm -hmm. And there's our first equation. It's not right. <laughs> 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 go and form your equations, right? So even um, words like twice or three times are ones that often catch people out. Um, then... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, I'm just doing like a yeah, I've been caught out. <laughs> yeah, that, oh. That's me. <laughs> I was just thinking... <laughs>